Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about what is uh, full outer joints in PostgreSQL and how to use full outer joints in uh, PostgreSQL. In the previous videos, we talked about what is inner join and what is left joints and right joints. Then what would what is the full outer joints? When I say full, it gives you the data completely from both the tables. Assume, so you are planning to use two tables in a particular join. Let us say this is the employee table. Okay. So the other table is of uh, some department table is of this. So this is a department table, assume it. Okay. So now this is a, let me write uh, names also for easy understanding. So this is employee table. So this is a, a department table. So when I apply a full outer join, what will happen? You know, you are going to get a complete data set. Assume you have uh, six records here and seven records here. Okay. So out of six and seven, so there are common records will be there. So you will be getting common records. And what are all the records which are left over in the left side table? Plus what are all the records which are left over in the right side table? This also, yeah, right side table. So what is left side table and right side table? So the, the table which are specified uh, left to the join keyword is left side table. The table which are specified uh, right to the join keyword is a right side table. Now you will be getting data set of the uh, records which are common between the tables plus the records which are left over in the left side table plus the records which are left over in the right side table. The total record set, you will get it. So here, I cannot say 6 plus 7 equal to 13. This is wrong. Okay. So I cannot say because there out of 6 and 7, there might be some common records. So those will come here and the leftover records will come here. Maybe let's assume one leftover record here and uh, like a uh, five or common records here. And here leftover records is two total equal to one plus five plus two equal to eight records. I'll get it. So I cannot say. 6 plus 7 equal to 13, I'll get it. That is wrong. That is wrong. Okay. Now, on the whole, I'll be getting, I'll be covering everything, but I do not know here on the fly what are all the common records and what are all the leftover records. So, based on that only, my record res results varies. So, let me quickly come to a table and where I'll explain and let, let me write down first here what is the result set. So, let me quickly write down. Select star from emp e full outer join and dept d on e dot uh, dept id equal to d dot dept id so here now result equal to common data common data between uh, two tables I'm not writing table names, two tables plus leftover data, which is in a left side table, leftover data in left table. So EMP table, left table is nothing but EMP because in the above query, EMP table plus right over data, sorry, leftover data keyword is same left over data in right side table right table or right side table whatever it is here dept table okay so this is how you will get the result so now let's quickly come to the postgres uh, admin so let us see uh, select start from employee how many records are there in the employee table if you see here i have uh, six records with four columns and out of six records, so there are around five records or five employees are tied to the uh, specific department and six employee doesn't have any department. It means that so uh, he does not uh, have any department as of now. And and also like if you see here, uh, out of uh, five employees, so all the five employees are uh, scattered across only three departments, 10, 20 and 30. So I don't have any other department number in my employee table. But if you go to the department table, let us see how many departments are there. Yeah, if you see here, I have 
five departments but you remember that like you have only employees for only three departments and the other two departments are empty as of now in a particular company now so let's apply a full outer join on this so let me quickly write a query query will be the same select star from emp emp e first let me write inner join because i need a common data right so i want to show you how much is the common data then i'll show you easily go for a full outer joins inner join uh, dept d on e dot dept id equal to d dot dept id okay so let's run this by using this query i can understand what is the common data between these two tables if you see here yeah i have only five records are common between these two tables but if you remember i have total records are six six records are there as of six records total records department is having how many five records are there in the original table but due to the common uh, query so i got only five records now let me apply full outer join and see what would be the final result emp e full outer join dept d on e dot dept id equal to d dot dept id so here as i mentioned whatever the leftover record i know that one record is left over here two records are left over here so total records will be this is five okay so how many records i get plus one leftover record in employee table one left over two record leftover records in department table total records would be eight so that's what i'm expecting when i apply a not here i'm expecting here okay let's run this and so if i get this leftover record then what would be the value of other table columns if i get two extra leftover records from department table what would be the value of employee table records those will be null when you apply outer joins if you see here so these first five are the common columns between the two tables and the first record is leftover column in the employee table so these two records are leftover columns in the department table so here so when i say when i when i am talking about employee table leftover columns okay leftover uh, rows so the 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 values of the department is null so when i talk about the leftover rows in a department table the values of the employee table obviously will be null so this is the behavior of the postgres or sql or any rdbms so this is how you are going to apply outer joins full outer joins so now you need to decide so which outer join is suitable for your requirement so we completely talked about left outer join right outer join and full outer joins in the entire um, scenarios now you need to decide based on your requirement so now you you may understand so when i apply a left outer join what would be the result when i apply a right uh, left outer join i'll be getting when i apply inner join i'll be getting five records so when i apply a left outer join i'll be getting 5 plus 1 6 records when i apply right outer join i'll be getting 5 plus 2 7 records when i apply a full outer join i'll be getting 8 records so this is how you are going to differentiate let me write down here 5 is inner join 6 is left outer join 7 is right outer join 8 is full outer join do you see the increase in the uh, records count okay but so if you do not have any left over records then there is no difference between outer joins and inner join so the difference come into the picture when you have a left over records in the tables if you do not have then inner join and outer join will always be the same so that's all about it if you have any question please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates that's it thank you for watching